Hello, and welcome to another sailproof car review, which I'm incredibly grateful and incredibly excited to do. Sitting right beside me right here is a 1941 Cadillac Series 61, and there's not too many of them left. However, the age of the car isn't the only reason why this is such a rare sight today. In today's video, we're going to explain why this 1941 Cadillac Series 61 is such a rare sight. So let's start off by giving a brief history of Cadillac as a brand. Cadillac actually has roots that date all the way back to 1902. However, it wasn't until the 1910s and the 1920s when Cadillac really bolstered its reputation as the standard of the world. They were able to achieve this with many different innovations, including the 90 degree flathead V8, which this car originally came with. It came with shatterproof glass. It came with the first all steel roof in a passenger vehicle ever. Cadillac was even the first brand to introduce the Phillips head screw and the Phillips head screwdriver to their production process and standardize it. You learn something new every day. So throughout the 1920s, Cadillac was doing really well sales wise. And then unfortunately the Great Depression hit, so their sales took a slump. But after the Great Depression, they were able to recover marvelously. And they even added a V12 and a V16 halo car to their lineup. Now the V12 and the V16 were really intended to be halo cars like I just mentioned. However, they did also add more entry level Cadillacs such as the Series 60 and the Series 65 during this time. And that really helped Cadillac sales take off during this time. The Cadillac Series 60, which is not to be confused with the Cadillac Series 60 Special, which was built later on, was actually the predecessor to the car that's sitting behind me right here, the Cadillac Series 61, which started sales in 1939. So the Cadillac Series 61 started getting built in 1939, and interestingly, it's a different body style between 1939 and 1941, which is this one. And part of the reason for that is because World War II started in 1939, and there was actually no 1940 model year Series 61 Cadillac. Unfortunately, World War II forced a lot of auto manufacturers to get involved in the war effort, and for Cadillac, it was no different, hence why there was no 1940 model year. And then 1941 was a complete redesign to this vehicle right here. And then afterwards, in 1943, they started selling this same body as the Cadillac Series 63. So in essence, the 1941 Cadillac Series 61 was only built for one model year. And the fact that this one survived for so long is really a testament to a rare set of circumstances, like I was mentioning earlier. So all in all, in 1941, they built about 29,000 of these Cadillac Series 61s. And this particular one is a coupe, which less than half of those vehicles were coupes or a two-door. So an 80-year-old vehicle that survived to this day that they only built about 12,000 of back in 1941 that's been with the same owner since 1958, that's a pretty rare sight. So the 1941 Cadillac Series 61 has a really interesting history and it's also got some really interesting oddities all around it. And the first one I wanted to point out is right here on the hood, which is this hood ornament of a flying woman. Now, I looked at various sources online to see what it actually meant and I couldn't find the actual meaning of it. If you do know what the meaning of the flying woman emblem is, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below and let everybody know. But the flying woman isn't just a theme in and of itself. It actually goes along with a bigger theme of the car, which is the fact that, well, it's quite big. In fact, this Cadillac Series 61 was probably amongst the first of the vehicles of its type that have this particular styling, where the fender started to blend in a little bit more with the hood. The hood was a little bit more elongated. And in fact, the car actually used quite a bit more metal uh, than the previous Series 61 Cadillac from 1939. Environmental concerns aside, Cadillac really put a lot of effort into making this car look opulent, and you can see that with all of the amazing metalwork that's around the car. For example, you can take a look at the Cadillac crest up front here, which looks remarkably similar to the crest today. It's actually quite intricately designed. You can also see a lot of intricate design in these side vents, which are on both sides of the vehicle and also feature the Cadillac emblem. And you can even see it on these details right below the headlights, which sometimes do feature an additional fog light, depending on the options of the car. It's really just everywhere on the vehicle. And the more that I look, the more that I find. Next, we're going to talk about the thing I love to talk about the most on almost every car that I review, which would be the keyholes. Now, this particular car does come with a keyhole on both the driver and the passenger side doors. But my favorite little feature about it is the fact that it's actually hidden in this really cute little accent piece right here on the body. 
And speaking of cute accent pieces, which by the way, this car is absolutely loaded with them throughout the interior and exterior, no Cadillac review would be complete without a mention of the Cadillac fins, which this car was one of the first Cadillacs to actually feature some fins. Now, although they're not as big as some of the 1950s and 1960s Cadillacs later, these fins are still a pretty distinctive design feature of a Cadillac. And I think one of the most interesting aspects about the fins on this Cadillac is they're actually made out of chrome as opposed to being monochromatic with the same color as the body of the car like they were in later Cadillacs. So it's really interesting to see that evolution and where that evolution originally came from. Now we've moved on to the back of the Cadillac Series 61 and I wanted to show you the trunk. It's a very sizable trunk. So on most cars that have been built over the past 30, 40, even 50 years, they typically have a strut right here that's a hydraulic strut, and that's used to actually keep a trunk propped open or a hood propped open or something like this. However, hydraulics weren't that common back in the 1940s, so instead, they have these two metal bars that kind of click into place, and when they click into place, they actually prop open the trunk like so. It's a really simple pre-evolution of that hydraulic strut, and quite frankly, <laughs> I just think it's really cool. <laughs> Next on our walk around of the Cadillac Series 61, I wanted to talk about the split windshield design that you see in the front. It's a really unique design that you see right here that actually is pretty easy to manufacture, or so it seems from today's perspective. But there was a pretty big reason for this, and the reason was, like I mentioned earlier in the video, Cadillac did pioneer uh, shatterproof glass in their cars. And this is shatterproof glass up front here, but the challenge with it is in the 1930s and 1940s, it was actually really difficult to make windshields curved, especially if it was shatterproof. To make it easier for themselves, they made this split window design with two flat panes of glass, and then they have this little pillar in the middle that actually looks pretty unique and pretty cool for the time period, and it's functional too. Inside the Cadillac Series 61, that same opulent theme goes all the way throughout. For example, you see chrome trim almost everywhere. You see wood trim almost everywhere. The gauges are very large and easy to read and have a very luxurious feel to them. Even the centerpiece where the radio is inset is made out of chrome, which is actually quite unusual even for today. There's a large analog clock on the passenger side for your co-pilot to read to you as you're grabbing your glasses. Space aplenty, chrome trim aplenty, and wood trim aplenty. They actually did a very nice job with making the more entry-level Cadillac of 1941 feel really quite luxurious on the inside. So there you have it. That's a complete tour of the 1941 Cadillac Series 61. So it's a very interesting and unique car, but is it a good investment or is it sale-proof? So the first category we're going to judge the Cadillac Series 61 on is awareness. Now, Cadillac as a brand has a huge amount of awareness. However, this specific model, the Series 61, is not commonly sought for on Google for a couple of reasons. One, it doesn't have a really big enthusiast following, and two, it was only built for two model years almost 80 years ago. So because of that, it's only going to earn a 2 out of 10 on this scale. Next, we're going to judge the Cadillac Series 61 on its appearance, and if you look at this car, it is absolutely gorgeous. It's unlike anything else that you see out there. It is a little bit larger of a style for my own personal taste, but that's the only thing that's really knocking it. It's going to earn an 8 out of 10 in this category. Next, we're going to judge the Cadillac Series 61 on its appeal, and this is a very appealing vehicle. It's actually pretty easy to work on, so even someone that might be a more novice enthusiast or collector would appreciate this vehicle, and it is something that is recognizable just because of the Cadillac name, so it's going to earn a 7 out of 10 in this category. Finally, we're going to judge the Cadillac Series 61 on its attainability. Now, it's pretty obvious that there's not too many of these remaining, so that does knock its score quite a bit. However, from a pricing standpoint, depending on the condition of the car, you can find a project condition car for the teens, and then you can find an absolutely pristine one for close to six figures, if not more than six figures. So this particular one, it's not perfectly pristine, but this one would probably command anywhere from twenty-five dollars to $45,000 as a price point. So that, combined with its availability, gives it a four out of 10 in this category. So add it all up, and the total score out of 40 is 21, which makes the 1941 Cadillac Series 61 just barely a good investment. Now, that's not to knock it too hard, because the vehicle is a really appealing vehicle, and it's quite a gorgeous vehicle too, if I say so myself, because it's from such a different time era. However, we have to evaluate the car as fairly as we possibly can, compared to the other vehicles that we've reviewed on this YouTube channel before. 
And the fact is, there aren't as many people looking on the internet for Cadillac Series 61 versus something like a Toyota Supra. But awareness aside, the car overall still scored slightly better than the halfway point, meaning that overall it is still a fairly good investment. So if you want to purchase one, you'll still be in a good enough position financially to be able to get out of it fairly even if you do ever decide to sell. Now speaking of sell, this particular Cadillac Series 61 may actually be going for sale relatively soon, so if you are interested in the vehicle, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below, and I'll be sure to reply to you with additional details and logistics so that I can facilitate a transaction between the owner and you. Do you enjoy sale-proof car reviews? If so, please be sure to click the watermark in the lower right corner of the screen to subscribe, and be sure to click the bell notification for a friendly reminder each time a new sale-proof car review comes out.